Hello everyone. Oh, I need to turn my fan off. It's still like a million degrees in Dorset, so everybody's slightly melting, but we're back with a brand new video. Now, I don't have a huge plan for today's video. I just wanted to do a little bit more arena mode because I've become a bit obsessed and I have eight keys left and I want to fight some of these high tier characters. Now, I have a lot of people who always ask me, how do I know what team to use in arena? And I want to give you a very, very simple answer to that. And it's literally, I know this is lame, but this is a question I get asked a lot. Now, of course, you can form your own teams and not take in any consideration of what other people are using like I have done. And of course, you know, I just I just use most of my characters as prize war characters, as people have pointed out, because prize war characters are broken. Actually, my entire team is just prize war characters, because of course, all the, all the like DLC characters are normally a lot better. Um, might be a bad example to show you here, but we can see Philip standing, standing his own again. He won't kill them. But yes, okay, so that didn't work. <laughs> we'll have to fly and start. Normally, if it doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll get rid of um, Duff. Learn the reason why it didn't work is because um, Zeus basically wiped my whole team out. So I'm, I'm going to put Patcher on to get another tank so we can do Patcher against Patcher. And then I'll tell you what I completely went off subject on. So what we've got here is some, a lot of the cats survived a bit longer. Um, my patch is still alive, but we still got rinsed. They actually do have a very good team, and it's a team I haven't come against for a while, so I might knock Patcher off. Do you reckon Ducky and Bunny can save this for me? Um, <laughs> come on, Ducky and Bunny. This is your... Nah, they killed Ducky and Bunny straight away. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm going to have to go for Kermit one, I think. So I'm going to put Kermit on. If I can get those buffs in... Oh yeah, Zeus is slaying my team the second I start. That is really annoying. And I think I'm being hexed as well. Am I being hexed? Yeah. And that's Mary that does that, the woman on the broomstick. She's literally like my worst counter. Because as soon as Zeus or any of my cats get hexed, because you get your special up so quickly, they get melted. Anyway. Completely went off subject there. So let's answer the question, how do I know what team I should be using in PvP? Now, there's one simple way to do it. Look at the top of your rank. There's a reason that people are at the top. You can see here, one, two, three, four, five. Those are the ranks, very obviously. Now, what do you see in these ranks? The top, I always look at the top three because there's, again, there's a reason they're top three. Now, what do we have? We have one, one, one. Each team has bags. And that's because his, invi his invisibility is madness. And if he's the last one left, sometimes you can't actually wipe him because of how strong his invisibility is. So there's one kind of trait which you can see more than one time. Now, again, everybody's using Darkwing Duck. Why is that? That's because Darkwing Duck is one of the most broken characters in the game. I don't personally use him myself, but he just jumps in, goes invisible and kills everyone. He's ridiculous with his karate chop. Again, you can see a link there. So you can see that we've got the teams using bags, the teams using Darkwing. So you could quite easily go, oh, I'm going to level both those characters up. And if you did, you'll start to become in part with the rest of the characters. Now, another similarity we see is Tron and Tron with the FL disc. So there's another similarity. So Tron would be a good pick. And then we've kind of got a bit of wiggle room. And we've also got another double with Hades, just because Hades is very good at staying alive and um, increasing damage over time. And Mad Hat is good at removing Hex, which is important. And Mary's good at putting Hex on, Arrow's good at healing. So the biggest sort of links that you can see, and I'm sure if I scroll down, we'll see more is Bags and Darkwing. Bags, Darkwing. Bags, bags, Darkwing. Do you see bags? Do you see what I'm getting at? So that bag hero again. That's one of the easiest ways to learn how, what characters you should be working on, if you wanted to work on PvP. Same for Colosseum. You can just go and look at the enemy's team and copy it. There's no foul in that. Or you can do a very, very similar thing. Go into the rankings. 
go into player, go into arena, and find the person number one. So this guy is number one, the best in the game, Big Samba, number one. So you can look here and start to look at their teams. So Hades, Hades, Hades. You can actually see that the top three characters have the exact same team. And that's obviously because it's the meta team or they would not be one, two and three. So there's another way for you to jump in and get a bit of a better understanding of what teams you should be working on. So if you look at it from this point of view, it's a very easy way to go in and learn. Now, because I, I just want to answer the general question because I have a lot of people asking me about what teams I should use for different modes. This, yeah, I do try and give you guys as much advice as possible, but this is a very easy way to learn it. What should I do for Colosseum? Okay, so we've got, oh, that's my team. I was gonna say, why is someone using Ducky Bunny? So again here, you can see that they're using almost that same team. Then we've got, so you can see, I'm not gonna go through every single character, but you get the gist of some really good team layouts. And again, these would work well for Arena. So these are people who are very, very, I mean, a lot better than I am at the game have a lot of a better understanding so they can jump in and really kind of break apart what characters work together and why. I mean, I'm okay at that. I'm not going to say I'm the world's best player at this game. But yeah, so then you can see more teams that people are using. So what we're able to do here is start to form an idea that there's a reason everybody uses Darkwing. There's a reason everybody uses Ian. Ian's obviously the Reflect. Darkwing's obviously a special. Chip and Daryl, when they you fly in, they do damage to start off with. Meg, you can put that on Chip and Down and keep them alive. You know, there's a lot of things along those lines which are good. Kronk's very good at just taking someone out of the game. Shank builds a power up over time. Dash instant kills everyone. Timon and Pumbaa are going to heal the entire team, keeping Dash alive a bit longer. Errol's going to keep Dash alive. You know, there's all these fantastic teams and this is the easiest way for everybody to jump in. Like I said, Sonic from Cobra Kai. It's always more or less that Sonic guy. So taking a cheeky look at his arena team, again, there he's second, there it is. So there is my advice for you on how to build a team for each mode. Now, story mode has never been too much of a challenge. When you get stuck on story mode, I know it's lame advice, you just disappear and come back a week later after upgrading some heroes. It, again, not the world's greatest advice, I know, but it does help. Ooh, should we open one of these and see what we get? That was actually a pretty decent amount of stamina potions there. Should we see if we can do any more with, um, see if we can power promote him up again. Oh, <laughs> we're not even there with all of the stamina potions. Where can we get him to? It's going to be a really, yeah, really sad amount. That is really sad. I was hoping to get him up a bit higher. Tomorrow, guys, I'm going to do a big spree of the prize wall. I've got as you can see, I've got 476 tokens I'm going to open with you guys. But yeah, there's my advice for you. Now, I want to round it up by doing a bit of arena battles with my team. Um, so my team is just tanks and then a healer and a load of damage dealers. Again, not the world's greatest team, but it does tend to work. So I want to start up at, up at the top here. Now, I'm 100% certain most of these I'm going to lose on. So I have, beat, I have actually beat the number one team with my ridiculous, with my ridiculous team. But let's see. So what I want you to kind of pay attention to here is bags and dark wings. I'll slow, I've, I've slow it down and put it to normal speed. So you can see that Bolt's doing his thing here. Unfortunately, didn't quite take Darkwing Duck out. Kronk has got rid of two of my characters. Bolt's come back. Oh, he's getting hit big time. We've taken a bit of damage away from um, Hades. Ian's coming in and we will kill it. That was quite, it was, that was relatively close. Um, Zeus is going to get absolutely rinsed. Darkwing Duck just finished him off before he, before he spawned. So, on that one, Ian was not useful. So I'm going to take Ian off, and I'm going to put Ducking Bunny on. Come on, Ducking Bunny. Don't do me dirty. So that has actually, Ducking Bunny dying there has given me a little bit of extra time. But you just saw that Darkwing Duck is six. 100, da 600 million damage. This is what I quite like about Phil, is that you saw that he was able to stand his own for quite a while there. So, okay, let's do this one properly because I do want to win. These guys have annoyed me now. Kermit. Because I like this because they don't actually have 
a character can kill Kermit straight away unless... Oh, no, Kronk. I, f I completely forgot about Kronk. Yeah, that is annoying. See, that is a very decent deploy of Kronk there. Because Kronk's going to keep knocking that character out that I've got at the back. Let's put Seuss one. Just because I want to try and get some heat. Get some more heals in. Get some more shields. Let's let my characters take some damage. And we've got a load of buffs on. Kronk's dead. We've got bolts spraying like mad. Zeus is coming back in now, which is lovely. That went back instantly killed my entire team again. <sighs> I can't complain about overpowered characters because my entire team is structured. <laughs> my entire team is structured off overpowered characters, so I can't I can't complain. Okay, I'm gonna put Duff on, and if Duff doesn't work, I'm going for Shigo. Because what I want is I want a bit of damage at the back. So Duff basically nearly killed um, Zeus in one hit there. But again, the problem we have is that Darkwing just comes in and I can't stop him. Okay. Hmm. Duff did quite well. If Duff's not higher level, I reckon we do it well. So let's put Shigo in here. Again, Darkwing. I just can't get the damage that's needed to take Darkwing out. See, Phil will do very well until Darkwing Duck uses a special and then he dies. But that was the furthest I got. Because although Shigo did die immediately, I was able to get a few more hits on. So maybe I'll put Patra on, on this one. And we take a look. So now I've got two tanks. Because what I need to do is keep Darkwing away. But the problem is when he jumps in, he, he does get he knocks back and then Bolt dies. And that's where the issue kind of lies. There. As soon as Bolt dies. So Darkwing Duck is very annoying. So yes, to summarize this video, look at the top three players and understand what characters they're using. Maybe fight them like I did and understand why they're winning. Well, they're winning because they just have Darkwing and it kills my entire team instantly without any thought process. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how you'll take this advice, guys. It's probably not the world's greatest advice, but for those of you who haven't thought about it, just take a look at who's winning in the arena and you'll find your team to use. Especially if you're new, it gives you an aim on the OP characters to start working towards. So do consider it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favourite five characters are for Arena. And I'll see you legends in the next one.